All right, we're doing uh, problem six from chapter one of Russ and Lynch's Introduction to Analysis. So this has to do with function composition, and namely we have functions f from x to y, g from y to z, and h from z to w. These are functions, and we want to prove that the composition h of g of f is equal to the composition h of g of f. So first, let's make sure these make sense. So h takes in elements of z and outputs elements of w, and then g of f, so g of f, that takes in inputs of x and outputs elements of z. So these will be functions from x to z. And similarly, h of g inputs elements of y and outputs elements of w. f inputs, oh, let me focus, f inputs elements of x and outputs elements of y. So on this right hand side we're inputting an element of x getting an element of y and then g of z will take in that element of y and output an element of w. So uh, these, this will be a function from uh, x to z and l let's just write down what g of f is. So recall g of f this will be a function from x to z and given little x in the set x then g of f, if this function, if we input x, this is just equal to, uh, well, g of f of x. And similarly, uh, so, uh, and for uh, h of g, this is going to be a function from y to w, and given some little y in y, we're going to have h of g of y is equal to well, h of g of y. So to show that these functions are equal, we just have to show that for any given input, we're going to get the same output. So if we let x and x, then if we look at h of g of f of x, so what is this going to equal to? Well, since it's a composition of functions, Recall that, um, so j just by the way we have function composition here, this will be h of g of f acting on x. But what is g of f acting on x? This is just going to be h of g of f of x. So if we input an element of x into h of g of f, we get this. Similarly, if we do um, the other one, so if we do h of g of f, if we're inputting x, then this is just going to be h of g, but now the input's going to be f of x. And so when we input f of x into this function, well, just by the way, we, we can use this here. This is going to be h of g. And here, this y is just f of x, so we're going to put an f of x here. And one more. And we notice these two are the same, so these functions have to be the same. All right, thanks for watching.